For this week's request, essentially you have to hire a scout, heavy supply, and medic specialist. So these are the four new specialist NPCs in the game. And they're going to be scattered all around the map. So these are their locations right here. There's one right there, one right here, one right here, and one right over here. So just simply visit those locations. You'll find the NPC and you just simply interact with them and click hire. I think it costs 250 gold to hire an NPC. So make sure you have at least a thousand gold on you. So these are the corresponding NPCs as you can see. So there's, this is the one at Breakwater Bay. This is the one uh, next to Lonely Labs. This is the one right here on top of the uh, snow biome. And finally, this is the one at Kinjutsu, uh, at the uh, Steamy Springs, which is the new sludge NPC, which is this guy right here. So yeah, that's all four of them. Basically, just go to all of those NPCs, interact with them, and uh, hire them, and that's your complete quest. It's as simple as that. For this week's request, is that you have to accept a bounty at different tooling circle bounty board locations. So you need to uh, accept two of these bounties at different circles. There's uh, currently like four circles on the map right now. So there's one right here at Steamy Springs, one right here next to Kinjutsu Crossing, Run right over here on top of Naughty Nets and one right over here on top of Mega City. I already made a video on these locations and how to get to them and what you can find in them. Uh, but yeah, we finally have a quest on them. And it's basically, this is like, this is basically a dueling circle as you can see right underneath me. And the idea is that for you to duel somebody using the kinetic blade because each of these circles is going to have two kinetic blades like uh, opposite of each other. So we're just going to uh, claim one of these kinetic blades. We're gonna use them for mobility, of course. Here we go. So this is the bounty board, as you can see. So it's. Uh, let me just take a screenshot like this, guys, just for the thumbnail. And we just simply accept the the uh, bounty. So that's one out of two. And you can simply just wait five minutes until this bounty is uh, is ended. And make sure you make it to this location, or this location, or this location. And you're going to find the same thing. You're going to find a dueling circle. You're going to find kinetic blades. And you're going to find a bounty board. Once this bounty has expired, you can go ahead and accept another bounty. And that should quit the quest. It is as simple as that. For this quest, it says you have to capture the PUI on the uh, loot island, which is Loot Lake Island. So as you can see, it spawns right there uh, in the middle of the map, in the middle of the uh, game. It basically spawns randomly, whatever. And when it spawns, you have to make your way as fast as possible to the PUI. And we're going to claim the capture point on top of it. So it should be spawning in a second. So this is the location on the map, as you can see. Here we go. So this is the spot. We just need one of those uh, one of those zip lines. Let me actually take a take a shortcut. Here we are. And now we're gonna claim the PUI. It is not easy by any stretch of the imagination because a lot of people are just gonna try to stop you. So it really isn't gonna be easy at all. So if you're fast, you might be able to get it. And if you if you can like win a fight or two, I like to make a, like a little maze right here, just to confuse people when they show up. Here we go. We have somebody. All right, let's get ready. No. Come on, just get in, dude. Okay, just a few seconds, and we can claim the PUI. If you claim it, you can actually get a legendary, uh, a mythic, actually overclocked AR rifle. Which is super dope. Let me close up. Yeah, there it is. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I got it, man. So yeah, that's the basic idea. When you do it, you will get these weapons right here, as you can see. And yeah, let's just do that, and that should be the quest. It is as simple as that. For this week three quest, it says you have to recover a combat cache or cache, whatever you want to call it. So basically, it's these uh, uh, these like little like drop boxes that drop in the middle of the game. They look like this. You just have to go to them and interact with them. This is what they look like on the map. So this is the icon for them. And you basically just go to them and interact. As you can see, it says recover cache. I already made a video on this, uh, like when the season started. And basically, just recover it like that. You can stay next to the cache to get the uh, like to get the loot when it pops. I think it takes exactly one minute for the loot to pop up. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just stay near this, like open it, and that should copy the quest. It is as simple as that. For this week's request, it says you have to hit a speed of 86 on a rogue bike. So basically, just make your way to this spot right here. It's the best spot to find a rogue bike. Or, of course, you can go to the mega city and you'll find a bunch of rogue bikes there. And basically, once you make your way here, you'll find a bunch of ro uh, rogue bikes, as you can see. And we're just going to take one of them. And if you don't know, rogue bikes can actually uh, boost like this. And you can easily hit, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm right here at the uh, speed of 86. So all you have to do is just click uh, left shift 
and you can uh, you can like boost so I'm gonna boost again so that's a max of 87 apparently awesome so it's as simple as that just grab yourself a rogue bike click shift to boost and that should be the quest for this week four seasonal quests is that you have to bounce off of uh, tires uh, air vents and lily pads so basically uh, for for the air vents just go to the mega city py right over here and on top of each building or most buildings you're gonna find these air vents that you can go on top of so these are the air vents right here as you can see there's also the main air vent in the middle i don't know if that's gonna work but this one is definitely gonna work right here let me just take a screenshot of this so you can just simply just jump on top of it and then i'm gonna show you the uh the the uh, like tires locations the closest one which is the racetrack here we go so just gonna jump off here we're gonna take the spike and we're gonna go to the racetrack here we are so these are the tires right here and we're just gonna jump on top of them so that's the tires right there and then of course i'm gonna show you the lily pad location so this is the lily pad location as you can see so this is just one of the locations that i found I'm going to ping the location for you in a second, but this is what the lily pad looks like, as you can see. Let me just do this, and you can just bounce off of it. It's very, very simple. <laughs> so this is the uh, location right here. Let me just ping it on the map. Uh, just go right here to Steamy Springs, to this lake, and you'll find the lily pad. Basically, jump on top of it, and that should be the quest. It's as simple as that. For well, this week, four seasonal quests is that you have destroyed 25 structures or objects while on a ground rail. So basically, you need to go to this PUI right here, the new uh, Mega City PUI. And this PUI is going to have all the ground rails that you're ever going to need. So as you can see, those are the yellow lines in the, uh, in the air. And the idea is for you to uh, destroy any object while riding these ground rails. And I highly recommend doing this. So just come here and go to this NPC, the stray NPC. He's going to be on top of this building right over here. And you're going to want to buy the um, the op or the heavy sniper rifle. So I'm just going to do that. There we go. Of course, make sure you have enough mana. Oh my god, this, this guy is being... Okay, let's just disappear. Alright, so while we are on the grind rail, as you can see, we are going to use this op to destroy objects. And it's very, very easy to do when you have this op because it goes through structures. I can't believe people are shooting at me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So I'm just gonna slow down. And we're gonna destroy structures. It doesn't really matter which ones. There we go, that's one. Then we're gonna reload. We're gonna destroy more structures. That's two. Of course you're gonna need to uh you're gonna need to gather some ammo and then go back on the grind rails. So make sure you go around, gather some some uh, some ammo. There we go, now we have uh actually don't no, we need more ammo. Let me do open this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. We have six bullets. Make sure you are always on the ground rail before doing this. Just press E. And then you simply destroy any structure that's on the way. Of course, you can do this with uh, with uh, enemy structures when they when they build. And yeah, you just need uh, uh, basically 25 bullets. And you can do this without really doing anything extra. You don't need to fight anybody. If somebody contests you, you can just run away <laughs> using the grind rails. And as you can see, it's very, very easy. Just do this and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as this. For this week, four seasonal quests, is that you have to assist in defeating the high card boss. So if you don't know, the high card boss appears in this PUI Shadow Slabs or Mega City or Brutal Bastion right after the first zone uh, a circle like closes in. So this zone is going to close in in two seconds and it's going to appear in all three locations. There we go. As you can see, that's the uh, that's the icon, and you just have to go and defeat them or assist in defeating them. You don't really need to kill them all, uh, like uh, uh, to kill him like uh, all at once. So he's all the way over here. Hey there, buddy. He's rather easy to kill, but you need to be very, very fast about it there we go now we kill the henchman and there it is and yeah that's pretty much it just do that and that should complete the quest